A St. John's County man facing felony charges tonight after deputies say he threatened two 20-year-olds outside of McDonald's in St. Augustine. 60-year-old John Smith of Elkton has already bonded out of jail, but his charges could be upgraded if investigators deem this is a hate crime. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avanier is live from outside the state attorney's office to explain why, Eric. Well, Smith could be looking at hate crime charges because of statements he made to both authorities and the victims. Statements that uh, deputies say were made both before and during the assault. The two men who deputies say were assaulted with a knife and stun gun outside this McDonald's are actually exchange students from Egypt. Their attacker has been identified as 60-year-old John J. Smith. Authorities say during the assault, Smith told the men to get out of his country and that they did not deserve to eat here. Attorney Randy Reap has no ties to the case, but explains why this could be classified as a hate crime. Was the prejudice that this defendant had towards the victims? caused by their ethnicity or where they're from? And if the answer to that is yes, then it can be classified as a hate crime. A spokesperson for the state attorney's office says the language that the defendant allegedly used will certainly be considered in the filing decision, especially statements authorities say Smith made to the arresting deputy. According to this arrest report, Smith told the deputy they killed his son. He told them his son was a Marine who died in Afghanistan while in combat. You have to understand what's in the mind of the defendant when they're committing the act. And if he comes out and tells you, I did it because of these things, then that's one of the best ways for the government to be able to prove that element of the crime. While prosecutors decide on whether they will enhance the charges to a hate crime, the victims say they remain fearful after their run-in with Smith. Uh, we're just mentally, psychologically, and physically great, and this is like too much for us. It's like a, a scary. We're, we're, we're scared. Now, Florida is one of 45 states that does investigate uh, hate crimes at the state level without relying on the FBI to investigate those crimes at the federal level. Also, uh, the penalty for those crimes do increase if convicted. Reporting live from outside the state attorney's office, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.